Talking about beating the heat, mm -hmm. all Pima County pools and splash pads are set to reopen. That'll happen tomorrow, just in time for Memorial Day weekend. Nine on your side's Liz Delia Caballero tells us what we can expect. It's been almost two years since some folks have been able to cool down inside a splash pad like this one. It was a very interesting 635 days of closure. Um, really not knowing what was going to happen. Grant Bourget has been in the aquatics industry for 26 years and says he never imagined having to close down Pima County splash pads and pools for so long. And now getting back to a greater sense of normal is I think um, one of the greatest accomplishments that's happening right now. He says the Brandy Fenton splash pads have been open since May 1st, operating at modified capacity. It's a little bit busier on the weekends, not so much on the weekdays. Obviously, now that school is out, we are anticipating significant amount of people out at the actual splash pads. For those with health and safety concerns, Borgay says splash pads usually don't reach max capacity and they're well sanitized. All of the Pima County splash pads are what are called double sanitized. There is not only fluorination, which kills COVID-19, there is also a UV sanitizer on our splash pads. So it also kills everything in the water as well. And while he's excited to see more foot traffic coming into splash pads and pools across Pima County, he's still encouraging everyone to be mindful during the pandemic. We still want people to be cautious, but be happy and, and make sure that we practice our good social distancing, if and when at all possible, also good sanitation practices and you know, let's let's have fun out there. Luz Delia Caballero, Kagan 9 on your side. You just said it. It looks like a lot of fun. Yeah, it does. Fans. It does. Yeah.